What is going on trainers? Today we have an absolute treat for you. We have a Basque Libre, Loaded Dice, Icicle Spear, and Scale Shot team. This team has Sneasel, King Gambit, Volcarona, and Rillaboom, and Gastron to be a part of this team. And if you don't know who I am, hello, my name is Rasmus, and I've been playing competitive Pokemon for roughly two years now. And I actually just competed in the 2024 World Cup uh, for Denmark. Um, so yeah, if you like, or are going to like, or go whatever uh, you see in this video, then make sure you smash that thumbs up button uh, so you can uh, show that through some engagement and also make sure you subscribe to your channel to stick around for more content like this. So this team is an, it's a very, very interesting team. Uh, we don't really have too many, um, how should we put it? Um, we have a bunch of sweepers is what I'm trying to say, essentially. We don't really have that many, um, many helpers on the team here, many support Pokemon, but um, it should be a fun team. So um, yeah, let's just get straight into the first matchup and uh, let's, get, let's get things rolling. All right, first team is against, oh, uh, why did I forget its name? Dragapult anyways, Amoongus. Uh, Incineroar and a Tatsugiri Dondoso Dun core. Um, so essentially, I'm scared here because we could see Explosion come out. Um, so what I want to do is actually probably lead with Sneasla. And you're fire type, so you're going to take Basque pretty well. All of these Pokemon is actually... Basque is not really the greatest Pokemon to bring in here. Um, so to be fair, I think we... Yeah, probably bring Volcarona for this one. Gastron can pretty much take care of a lot of this stuff. And then Bascalibur for the end. That is going to be um, who we're bringing today for the first matchup here. So um, so let's see what this is going to be all about. Very excited to, to showcase this team. Very, very excited. I actually played a bit with it, a little bit, not much, like two games or something on the ladder yesterday. Very, very nice call. Oh, so yeah, this is definitely going to be... Definitely going to be Explosion. Alright, that's fine. I'll take the Protect, honestly. I can live with that. That's totally fine. So now we get a Quiver Dance off. Or should at least. Surf on a Dracapult? You have to be kidding me. I've never even seen that in my entire life. Alright, I guess. What's called Colossal, I think, maybe? I can't remember. Alright. So I'm not really scared of Dragapult, so I'm just going to close combat here. And honestly, I'm just going to Giga Drain it. Just going to double up into that. Yeah, and then we guess it's going to activate Weakness Policy, I'd assume. Steam Engine. Oh, fucking hell. And there comes Weakness Policy, and now comes the Explosion. Yeah, it's pretty much what I... Ex Fuck, I knew it was going to be an explosion. I knew it. I knew it and I couldn't even stop it. That's just incredible, isn't it? That is just incredible stuff. Alright, that was a very interesting strat. I'm not going to lie, I've never seen a strat like... At least not with the Surf one. Um, yeah, this is... This is interesting. How are we going to get out of this? Because that was just nutty as hell. I'm not even going to lie. So this instant... Damn it. Honestly, I think we just double protect here. Yeah, and then Moongi comes in. 
Mm-hmm. And I'm actually... I wonder if he's going to go for Flare Blitz. He's going for knockoff into... Oh, he could... I could have left. That was a s weird switch for him because... Now I have the time to do this. And trash like station like this. And then I can... You know what? I'm actually probably more scared of Mungi because... Mungi kind of needs to go is my problem here. So let's do it like this. I mean, the chance of, 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 of them going for some sort of, like, uh, Rage Powder is pretty good anyway. The only problem with being Ghost Out now is Knock Off. It's going to be super effective. We will see what they choose to do. I should go Spear. That's not a lot of damage. It's not enough damage to the point where I like it. It's bit okay, a crit did help. You know what? I take it back. It, it was enough damage. I take that back. Got an earth power. First knockoff. Okay. It's fine. Citrus bear is gone. Earth power comes out here. I feel like he's gonna go for Phantom Force here. Or if it's Terrestrialization, Terror Blast, then I'm cooked either way. Okay, it's gonna be Poison, which is an interesting choice. Probably expecting me to go for some Ice Move into there. Yeah, Phantom Force. Alright, that's what I was expecting, which is why I didn't go into it. Another crit, I like that. And a little bit more. Okay, we're in range now. And then knock off, I assume, into Basqueliba. Right? Yep. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Fuck. That is just not what I wanted to see. Ah, we could have played this so much better, to be fair. So I don't know, since Phantom Force was probably meant for Basquelieber, I don't know if it's just going to go into... Yeah, it goes into Gastrodon. It doesn't KO though, which is great. Nah, you gotta be kidding me, bro. You gotta be actually kidding me on that. That is just insane. Okay, it's lucky locked into Phantom Force. So unless he gets a crit here, I actually think we might take the W. Um, so without a crit, I think we actually take this. <gasps> Is that a crit even? Oh my god. Just 3 HP, Gastrodon clutching up, and we're taking the dub here towards the end. That was incredible. 3 HP at the end there. Oh my god, I thought we lost it when we lost Basquiliver to that. Knock off for sure, but hey, I take this any day of the week. That Gastron just clutch up there at the end, but um, yeah, great first match. Let's get into the second one. All right, very interesting rain team here with Pelipper, Ludicolo, Raichu, Goldengo, Ditto, and an Amoongus. Uh, basically, it looks solid all the way through here. I just need something next to it that can take care of the. Goldengo, which will be solid choice for Volcarona here. Um, I 
Sure, looks pretty solid, not gonna lie. And for the last, I think I might go with Sneasel just because Sneasel looks pretty darn good into... Uh, maybe not Sneasel actually, maybe I'm... I mean, Rillaboom is not a bad option, neither. Honestly, mm, maybe a real boom. Maybe we're looking Gambit could be good too. Let's go to Sneasler. That's what we originally were planning. We're going to stick with the plan. All right. Let's see, uh, see what we can cook up here. We need to cook here. All right, let's see. What can we do? What can we do? Pelopolody Colo lead. Does Lodi Colo get uh, swift swim? Is my question. So drizzle from you. It must get something since he's pairing it up. Ludicolo. It, got, it does get Swiss Swim, as I expected. And let's protect on Volcarona just to stall out one turn at a time. So Terra comes out here. Um, I wonder what you're gonna go for with Terra Stella. The color with Fake Out though, and a Hurricane. All right, I guess it's fine. We protect it. I can live with that. I honestly think we just go for Scale Shot, and we switch out. Into Gastrodon. Honestly, Gastrodon looks pretty, pretty solid to pop in here. Especially if they go for like a water move or some of some sort. Yeah. Honestly, I think that's pretty decent. Alright, let's see what your what your plan is here, big man. What you got for me? Scale shot could theoretically go into either one of them, but and I think Best Cleaver's pretty safe here. I'd assume so. So Gas Run comes in. Let's see what we're working with. Ice Beam. Yeah, it doesn't really do too much. And a hurricane. Is that gonna be double up into Gas Run? It is. Yikes, they wanted that thing gone off the field. They were scared of old Corona. Yikes. That's funny. Okay. So the greatest damage we're coming up with here. Is it going to be enough for the KO? If we hit five times, I think it might be. Just one more. Come on, Basically, but don't let us down. Of course, you let us down. Let's go for Pelipper. And let's go for Clear Smog. I mean, why not? Let's see uh, what these two bastards are up to. Because they could just double up again, which theoretically I'm okay with. Um, they could also expect me to go for Protect into um, Gastrodon. And then that would leave a double attack into Basquebra pretty open and vulnerable. But, I mean, heck, it could be a lot of stuff here. Let's see. What are they cooking with? So Ludicolo withdraws. And in comes Go Dengo. So that thing is not gonna take any damage. Earth Power would have been the right move there. Skill shot. That's not gonna be enough for KO, I know that much.
Come on. God damn it. Gotta be kidding me, bro. That is unbelievable. That is unbelievable. So, Hurricane. We well, hang on. I like it. So, here's my thing. I feel like Dingo is pretty dangerous in this scenario. Ah, damn it. Earth Power would have been so good into that Ludicolo. That would literally have been like a perfect like round for us, but... Okay, Pelipper draws. I can see that. Ludicolo comes back in. Interesting. I honestly just expected to be Make It Rain. Uh, Shadow Ball? Don't die, don't die, don't die. Wow, okay, I was not expecting that. Yeah, this is definitely not what I was expecting. Ah, yikes, this bit us kinder. I actually forget the thing actually has fake out. Ugh. I guess this is pretty much the only thing we can actually go for. Yeah, out. I knew it was gonna be fake out. And then I expect Shadow Ball or something from, from the Dingo. Um, yeah, we're looking rough here. We're actually we're looking in a very rough situation because I don't know how to deal with Goldango right now. It's gonna be Shadow Ball. It's probably gonna KO. Yep. Goldango is pretty much like too dangerous for us right now. There's not really much we can do, especially with Rain being up. Dango is looking very very good here. Because let's be real, they're just gonna come back in with Pelipper. And that's realistically it's gonna be game over because I cannot hit him with Sneasler here. So the right choice would have been King Gambit to bring here, but you can always look back at stuff. Ah, uh, yikes, this is so annoying. I just wonder if I even have a chance of surviving this. I don't know, but. I guess it's worth to try. I guess it's worth to try. Quiver Dance. Is there one Pokemon left after that, I believe? It wouldn't even matter because Sneasler is like useless into Gold Dingo right now, unless he trash. Well, he can't even trash like so. Pretty much, Sneasler is useless at this point. Can't really do much into Dingo. To say nothing, actually. Okay, and now Ditto comes. Yikes. That's actually a pretty good play with the Ditto there. Of course, hit him with the flame body. Okay, at least we um, we get that special defense so there's a higher chance we survive uh, Dingo's attack here. Don't die, Sneasler. Bro, this Dingo is literally, like, killing us. Like, actually killing us. Oh my god, that is incredible we didn't die from that. I literally think this is, like, our only chance of even having a chance of surviving here, so we have to go for it. We need Heat Wave to do an insane amount of damage. And I'm just not sure it will. I'm just generally just not sure it will, to be fair. 
If they know all of our moves now because of Ditto, which is quite annoying. Ugh, this is such a bad situation to be in for us. Yeah, Goldengo withdraws. Wait, maybe. Just maybe. This might not be the... If we can get the KO here, this might not, not be the worst thing in the world. If we pick up the KO here with Sneasler, that might not be the worst thing in the world. Alright, that's not good. Poison? Damn, you're thick, Ditto? Yeah, you quivered and answered yourself. Yikes. Ah. How many times we have left the rain is the real question here. Probably like two or three, which is we need less. Yeah, three. It's just not gonna help. Codens might be like our only option here. Yeah, it's barely anything. Let's see what Make It Rain does. Whatever it is it's going for. Alright, we plus two now. Shadow Ball, how much damage are we looking at here? We're looking at good damage. 188 to 80. We now have higher. Can we make another Quiver Dance and survive? Can we do this? Because we get special defense boost. Okay, another Quiver Dance. We might actually be able to do this with Quiver Dance. Like, Quiver Dance are way out of this. This is interesting. So they Quiver Dance as well. Which honestly is okay by me. And Shadow Ball again. So we're now to 42 now. And rain one more turn. So what we need to do is protect Volcrona. If they quiver dance, that's just bad luck. But if they double attack us here, that's perfect. Okay. Okay, perfect. We're looking great here. I like what I'm I like what I'm looking at. Really like what I'm looking at. Now I need Volcarona to lock in and hit this heat wave. I needed to hit this heat wave because this heat wave could be huge for taking down Goldengo and uh, the other merchant over there. So heat wave. So this is what I need. I need you, please, please, Volcarona hit both. Thank you, KO both. Come on, Volcarona with the clutch up at the end. Oh my God, that was. Honestly, I don't want to... I hate praising myself and stuff. That was so high-level play right there. Keep continuing to quiver dancing to to survive uh, the special attack uh, attacks from them. And at the same time, boost boost ourselves speed and attack. Like, that was so high play from us right there. I, I will not lie. That was... Volker on an absolute clutch up there. And the heat wave connecting with both was perfect. I cannot believe we won that match. I definitely thought that match was over. But that was insane play from us. I'm not going to lie. That was crazy. Okay, so another rain team, this time with Blastoise, Ndidi, Oichelodon, Mioscarada, Sneasler, and um, Pillipa. Uh, I don't like this at all. Because Basque... Because, uh, uh, what's it called? Um, Oichelodon is literally so dangerous here. So Basque Leap is probably what I'm going to lead with. Um, I can't even clear Smugger, which is actually insanely annoying. I'm probably going to need Sneasler next to Volcarona and Gastrodon. Just bring the exact same four again. It seems to be working, but 
I can't believe we took that 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 win right there. That was uh, that was absolutely insane. I did not expect that at all. So very very happy with us taking that dub. That was uh, very unexpected. But hey, Bull Corona clutching up there at the end, taking that. To be fair, our challenge on Pelipper here is pretty much just gonna wall our whole, whole team more or less. So, I mean, it wouldn't be the worst idea for them just to lead with those two because skill shot, eye shots, both of them is just gonna boost uh, our challenge on anyway. So, kind of annoying. To be fair, I would say. That's a, that's a cute calling card. Oh, great music to this game as well. I love it. I absolutely love it. All right, let's see. Pelipar Chalon, as I said, why would you not lead those? Why would you just not lead those? I feel like doubling up into Pelipper might be the move. Just simply because the Achelon could terrestrialize, and I would not want to see that. But Loaded Dice Achelon just does not go well into. Uh, oh, Loaded Dice, best Galipa, my bad. Does not go well into Achelon at all. Like, it's probably the worst enemy at all. Because it doesn't matter what move I choose, it's not going to do enough damage, and it's just going to help boost the. Stamina on Archeladon. So early terrestrialization, who is it going to be into? It's going to be Archeladon. Which is... Okay, so that's exactly why I didn't go for close combat into Archeladon. Now King Gambit actually looks pretty good for this game, but unfortunately they stayed in the back. Okay, Pelipper will not be able to move. This is cl okay. It's not Clover cloak, cloak. We're fine. And scale shot. Is this going to be enough to KO? I would really, really like it to be enough to KO. It's kind of my thing. Come on. Come on. One more. Don't do this to me. Thank you. Finally, you did something with this video, Vasquez. So far, you've been absolutely wank. So, finally. And let me guess. It's going to... Electro shot. Oh, it's just going to drag and pulse, to be fair. It's not quite enough for the KO, but... Okay, so Tailwind from them is not coming up now, and I absolutely love to see that. Miascarada comes out here. That thing is faster than any of us, I'm pretty sure. But I am... I do have plus speed now, so I'm not really sure if it might not outspeed us now. I think we might outspeed our speed it now. So let's see, we have heat wave, clear smoke. Uh, yeah, we theoretically actually just need to stall out. We need to stall out this uh, the situation. You need to stall all this. Alright, we are faster. Okay, so perfect. I'd like to see this. Okay, so basically we just picked up two chaos this game. The only problem is the goddamn Archeladon. I needed to fall asleep here. Falling asleep here would be perfect. No way we just spoke that into existence. That is... It's incredible. That's Ghost Nisla. No way. We take that. Incredible. Wow. I did not expect that. Alright, so their own Sneasler comes out here. I think it's a very thin. They can't do much.
Battle cancel. We take the dub. Why would they do that? They still had a massive chance of winning. But hey, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining for going 3-0 in a video. Definitely not. Especially not when Basque Libra actually did something in the third and final matchup. So that's it for three matches in this video. And to be fair, I really, really like playing with this team. It has so much... Uh, versatility and so many great Pokemon. So we didn't even get to use King Gambit. Or, or we actually used Gambit in the first matchup, but we didn't even get to use... Uh, did we use Gambit? I can't remember. We didn't. At least we didn't get to use Rillaboom. I remember that for sure. I can't remember if we used Gambit or not. But we used Basque Libra, Sneasel, Volker, and Gastron pretty much this whole time. But that's also a very, very strong call. Uh, Basque Libra, Discuss your Isaac was pure. It's incredible. It's honestly incredible, but against our Chaladon, as we saw in the final matchup, we just cannot go into it. It's just not going to work. Sneasel next to it is just phenomenal, especially with that Dire Claw. Uh, I can't believe that Dire Claw actually put our Chaladon to sleep. That pretty much won us the match, I would say. Um, and then obviously Volcarona with Quiver Dance won us the second game and really would have looked strong for the for the final third uh, game as well. And the same with Gastron as well. Gastron looked really, really strong there towards the end as well because we could have used Yawn, put those things to sleep. So, in the end, this team is a very, very solid team. So, if you want to check it out and use the top rank ladder to climb that ladder yourself, which is, is definitely capable of doing, as we just saw, make sure you check out the range code down in the description below in the top rank corner here off the screen. And as always, if you have a team you want me to feature in a future video, make sure you leave that range code down in the uh, comment section below, and I will make sure to check it out and post it here on the channel. And as always, if you liked this video, make sure you smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to your channel to stick around for more content, and make sure to turn on the notification bell so you don't uh, miss my next video. And otherwise, I have nothing else to say, but until next time, happy gaming.